The history of gay bars in the early 20th century is rich and fascinating. During the period between world wars, Berlin in particular was a bastion of gay culture in general, and gay bars in particular. Prior to the urbanization of the 1800s, the close-knit nature of small communities limited the exploration of same-sex attraction and the formation of gay communities. However, the growth of cities provided anonymity and opportunities for individuals to explore their sexuality and forge a distinct gay identity and culture. In this new urban landscape, gay bars arose as vital hubs for socializing, community building, and identity formation. In the 1920s, Berlin emerged as a center for gay life, largely due to its progressive and liberal atmosphere in the wake of World War I. The Weimar Republic's relatively permissive stance towards homosexuality fostered a burgeoning gay culture. Berlin, as a cosmopolitan and avant-garde city, attracted artists, intellectuals, and members of the LGBTQ community from across Europe. This influx led to the establishment of numerous bars, clubs, and cafes that catered to a gay clientele, creating a vibrant and visible gay scene. Additionally, pioneering sexologists like Magnus Hirschfeld actively studied and advocated for homosexual rights, further cementing Berlin's status as a haven for the LGBTQ community during this period. Venues like El Dorado and Dorian Gray featured displays and performances that were quite bold and avant-garde for their time. These included performers who often engaged in gender-bending acts, with men dressing as women and vice versa, challenging traditional gender norms, cabaret performances that often included satirical, political, and risque elements. Performers at these clubs frequently engaged in suggestive or provocative acts. Some venues even featured erotic dancing and performances that were considered quite daring, showcasing a level of sexual openness that was rare for the era. Certain bars also showcased art and photography that explored themes of sexuality and gender, which were often deemed controversial. The gay bars of 1920s Berlin stand as a luminous testament to a remarkable era of cultural and social liberation, in these spaces, the LGBTQ plus community found a rare haven for expression, creativity, and solidarity, forging an environment where diversity and freedom were not just accepted, but celebrated. These bars were not mere social venues. They were vibrant epicenters of progressive thought, avant-garde art, and bold defiance against the restrictive norms of the time. Yet, as we look back, there's a poignant sense of loss for these pioneering establishments, the rise of oppressive regimes in the 1930s led to their tragic closure, marking the end of an era that shone brightly as a beacon of hope and liberation. Their legacy, however, endures, reminding us of the resilience and courage of the LGBTQ plus community and inspiring continued efforts towards a more inclusive and accepting world.